Hey, hello everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome to the stream. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, very technical night for me. Super technical. Trying to stream to multiple areas. Uh, it's actually never been done in human history, so this is groundbreaking, what I'm doing tonight. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this, is, this is, like, so basic, I think, for most streamers. Not for me. It's not basic. This is advanced work. You guys ever gone into, like, a settings option and hit the advanced button? Really confusing. That's basically what I've done tonight. Um, fortunately, I have good technical friends, like Brian. He's on. He's on He's on the stream here. Hey, hey. There he is. The voice, the voice of Brian. Um, we're going to do some running tonight for the Game Pass Cup, as you can probably see uh, on my screen here. This is um, this cool little challenge that Forza is putting on. It's not my custom Team JN Bounty Hunter Challenge, which I really loved. Thank you to anybody that was involved in that. Those are always fun. I'm so happy we were able to bring that back. This offseason, it kind of expanded a little bit. Um, we'll probably do that again next year and try and make it even bigger and better, but this is the Game Pass Cup, so Forza um, just released Forza Motorsport 7 on Game Pass, which I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, if you have that, you know, essentially you're subscribed to a host of games for the Xbox platform, which is really cool. I love the ac access you have nowadays. You know, when I was younger, I don't know how old I'm going to make myself sound, but when I was younger, you had to buy, like, you had to, you had to go and buy a game when you wanted it. And you had to, like, wait all year round to get it. Maybe there's a lot of people that are familiar with that. I'm sure most people are, Brian, familiar with that process. Oh, yeah. I mean, I definitely am. I remember when you had to wait in line at night to get the games. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was like, um, yeah, you'd have to, like, like during Christmas and all that, you'd have to wait, like, like some people, like, camped. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> like, out of Best Buys and stuff. That's That's crazy. I never did that. Someone's asking me if I wished PT a happy birthday. I didn't. Is that terrible of me? I didn't. I'm a terrible person. Uh, Alan Jones remembers those days. It's back when stuff was fun. I'm kidding. It's still fun. Uh, Simpson fan. Is there going to be multiplayer, Joseph? Multiplayer. Multiplayer for what? Are you talking on uh, for tonight? Yeah, we should do multiplayer. Probably not tonight. I'm just going to cut some laps here. Because uh, I've not done that yet, and I'm supposed to do that. I've just basically booted this up. i am not tried any laps here, so it's going to be probably pretty comical to start with. Hey, what's up, Pete? What up? A lot of people have already tried this. In the world, there's already 15,000, which is pretty good. Looks like Brian is slow. Sorry, Brian. I'm just kidding. Brian it's just a lot, It's a lot of garbage coming out of your mouth right now, and you haven't done a lap yet. Yeah. <laughs> He's actually, you're normally better than me, like a lot better than me at these cars. So you probably beat my time. That's uh, right. I'm glad that you finally admitted it on the internet for everybody to hear. <laughs> but not the quick ones. The quick cars are, that's my thing. Um, less finesse. I am a less finesse type of guy. <laughs> All right, let's get in here. I would like to take this big old wagon out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take this. 64 Impala Super Sport. Wow, this thing is nutty looking. It's sick. I love kind of want one. <laughs> yeah, I kind of do too. I love cars now that I never thought I'd love. Like I'm, I'm really into old school muscle and um, just cl like classic cars too. I was never a classic cars guy growing up. Now I'm kind of into them. Even stuff like the the, the Morgan. We were talking about the Morgan. Like, I don't think I would have been into that stuff like 10 years ago. Yeah, uh, there's definitely a point, I think, in your life where your brain just kind of switches a little bit. Yeah, it's probably Because I wasn't super into classics either, but now it's like the only thing I want is an old school, like, Chevy hot rod. <sighs> it just means I'm getting old. Well, it you happens. do have a birthday next week, and you are getting old. It happens. It happens. Life sneaks up on you. Uh, what's everybody doing? Everyone having a good winter? About getting ready for Christmas? Dan Tickner, what's up? Fun track car come out? That's cool. Good to know. 
I don't even remember this track layout. And this this actually used to be my favorite track on, on uh, Forza Motorsport 2. I loved this place. All right, I'm going to take off. Did you end up taking off traction stability or did you keep it on? I just, the most recent lap I did was, was with it out, with it off. But I think I dirtied it at the end, so. I'm going to take all that off. I'll keep ABS on. Oh, I am not doing the with clutch, you know. I messed with that clutch option deal and that, that final bounty hunter event at Long Beach. And it just takes, I mean, you got to be like consistently practicing that. Yeah, I took it off. What am I doing? Manual. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Whoa, Pete, minus 25 in northern Ontario? Is that what you were going to type? Maybe it, it's awesome. That's really, really cold, bro. Bless your soul. Yeah, dude, I just, like, need to learn the track. Yeah, this isn't the... This is, like, the long version. Oh, this thing is... Sporty. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Oh, but you could you could push off. You could push off the track. Oh, minor left side damage. So pretty. One thing's for sure, they definitely upped the graphics from Forza 2 all the way to present present day. I probably should have gotten on here and cut some laughs before the stream. Because <laughs> this is going to take me a hot second. Well, they're getting the full experience. This is real. It's live. This thing's really not bad, though. It's pretty good. Yeah, it, it's pretty responsive for being 150 feet long. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Might have to add this to the regular Forza Night yeah. uh, rotation. Yeah, I actually think this would race super well. Uh oh Oh, that's... That's a really bad accident. <laughs> you know these uh, <laughs> these barriers they put in place of like just off apex into the grass, but like on a super fast corner. Yep. They're just like plowed into one of those. That would be a horrible wreck. It's actually a terrible placement in real life for a barrier. This is a wicked little track, though. Oh, that was a bit late. I bet you got faster with TC off. Like it, this thing, this thing definitely. It, yeah, it freed it up quite a bit, actually. Yeah, you really don't need it. In Should really enjoy the balance. Little sensitive on the cuts. This thing is a killer drift car.
no. Okay. Let's get this up here. Greetings from Indiana. What's up, Toby? Been to the 500 twice recently. Saw Will and Simon. Yeah. Uh, I hope we win it, man. How old are you? Are you like, you must be younger if you just, um, just went 18 and 19, I'm guessing. We gotta get old William on one of these streams with us. We really should. Just for my own entertainment, really. I think for everybody's entertainment. <laughs> I mean, it's for sure going to be our entertainment, but I think the world would benefit. Yo, no doubt, like, <laughs> seriously? What, did you have a good one going? Uh, <laughs> that last corner is so tempting. <laughs> yes. No joke, though, like, this is a very enjoyable combination. Yeah, I like it. So we got one one guy in the chat wants to know why you use socks when pro gamers use racing shoes. Do do pro gamers use racing shoes? Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't have any idea. <laughs> I did not. I didn't even. If that's a thing, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um. Well, first off, pedal feel is like way better with socks. Um, I'd probably use socks in the real car if I could. The problem in a real car with using too soft of a shoe is uh is the flex um some some guys like actually will speaking of willpower he uses super super soft shoes uh we both wear pumas but he wears like a sock version of a shoe which has almost no side support and and not a lot of sole support mine are very rigid on the on the sole of the shoe with medium side support um, that's because the force that we have inside the car, or, or just specifically on the pedals, is really high. I mean, you're hitting the brake pedal in the Indy car at 1,300 to 1,400 PSI on like a, a big brake zone, which is a, a tremendous amount of force. Um, so you need, like for me, I need really good rigidity so that I don't start to warp around the pedal or, or um, you know, so that I, that, that I don't like deform around the pedal. I hate that. So it's like kind of trying to find a balance between feeling and support or rigidity. Uh, in this, like I'm not hitting the pedals that hard. You know, you just don't need to. Uh, even though they're, you know, simulated to feel somewhat realistically with, you know, springs and dampers and all sorts of things. Um, it's still not as, not as hard as real life. So I'd rather just wear socks. It gives me the best feel possible. That's the reason. At least for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe that's why I suck. On this that. segment brought to you by Haynes Footwear. <laughs> <laughs> we should just come up with an uh, absurd athletic line of socks. <laughs> it's socks. <laughs> NuvaGerm socks. They're great <laughs> for sim racing. Antimicrobial. You gotta watch out for those microbes on your... <laughs> pedals. You got to get some Numa germs, okay? <laughs> I, actually, I actually like that name for a sock. This thing, like, actually wants to get on power. It frees up so much now with uh, TC and all that off. Yeah, it's pretty good. If I could just get my brain screwed on here, I think I've got a really strong lap in me here. What was the top time? I think a 42.5. Oh my lord. 
So tell me about your really good lap. What time will it be? Where? I mean, where are they cutting? A, are they cutting a section of the track off? I mean, it, probably are they drifting it. <laughs> They're probably doing some combination of those things. I mean, I was thinking I'm going to take like a second off, not seven seconds off. Oh yeah. Gosh! Yeah! Thought I was gonna go flying off T1 turn and just, just brought her back. That last corner is just so tempting. Yeah, I mean, it really seems like you can, like, fire it in there. What? I'm like a second down somehow on my last time, and I thought it was like a tremendously better lap. That is, that is, uh, how, how is it even possible? Like, I think my first proper lap was like a 49 something. And then I got into this one, and I was like, oh, this is like way better. It's not a great lap, but it's way better. And it was like a second slower. so weird the trick is to go faster uh yeah yeah you know what you're doing wrong you're not going quick enough um <laughs> yeah dreamy zach the the floorboards in mascar get very hot they do these guys run like a lot of the soccer guys run like heat shielding because it gets so hot in the footwell uh that's that's not too bad of a problem in indycar although i will say when it's super hot like super super hot the, the, the back of my heel on my, my foot has like a thick piece of rubber and it has semi melted onto the floorboard and it'll actually start like sticking to the to the floorboard um, which is really funny like it's not super hot in there but hot enough to do that brought to you by Dickies thanks Dickies <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the understeer is real. It is, unless you're on power. It's definitely the understeer, probably. Hey, uh, check your phone. Someone also said, drive fast, don't crash. Um, they're, they're right. You are right. It's the best way to get sponsors for racing. I'm having a hard time. It is very difficult. Uh, there's no, you know, there's no bona fide formula for success, to be quite honest with you. Uh, if there was, uh, we'd probably be teaching it somewhere in seminars. <laughs> no, actually, I, I would dis I despise that, those type of groups or people, so I wouldn't do that. But um, it would be probably more common knowledge, and we'd all be for the better if we knew a bona fide way to get sponsors. If you're just starting out, you know, it's really about finding support from any any network of people that you know. Um, if you're really young, a lot of what a lot of guys do, you know, honestly, to get kind of technical, a lot of guys create an investment vehicle in themselves because trying to procure 
actual like legitimate commercial backing is so hard to justify um, especially for like go-kart racing or uh, you know racing in junior formula cars it's just really hard to you know get the correct uh, return for a commercial backer so sometimes getting in um, you know sometimes getting an investor into you as a person is one way that a lot of guys have, have made it up the ranks it was part of the way I made it up the ranks um, but you can you can go find you know people if you're looking to get into go-karting you know maybe you go work at a, at a karting shop or with a karting team and you can trade you know you can trade work hours for parts or work hours for seat time I mean there's just a lot of ways you can get creative I, I don't know what you're I don't know what you're trying to drive in but there's there's no recipe you know just just I think you try and open up your uh, open up your uh, your what am I trying to say I think you just have to be open to learning from people around you you know try and learn as much as you can about business in general marketing sales um, sales are you're gonna be doing sales more than you realize I mean you're just constantly trying to pitch yourself to people you know whether whether you can justify the the sponsor or not <laughs> you're you're always trying to sell someone to back you in some way or fashion so I think trying to trying to learn about those uh, different facets of business is really important because that's all racing is it's a business at the end of the day it's like 20% sport 80% business be creative be I think that's the main thing Brian is definitely right be creative you gotta I think a lot of those deals nowadays like you know, it's it's two companies that might be able to be beneficial to each other that sponsor somebody because they were able to make those two. A hundred to B. Hundred percent. Yeah, Brian kind of cut out there, but uh, yeah, B two B is very very popular, um, even amongst professional teams. I'm not talking just drivers individually, but you know, big time auto racing teams, especially in IndyCar, a lot of their a lot of their deals are, are based around a, a, a B2B deal, which is, yeah, a, a business to business opportunity. You know, if you can, if you can, if you can find a challenge that's present for two companies and then solve that challenge for both of them, especially with bringing them together, then you can get creative and work a deal out for yourself uh, from a marketing play uh, standpoint. So as Brian said, be creative, be super creative. And hire Dream Digital. <laughs> and hire Dream Digital. Because here at Dream, we're all about reality. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know that that makes sense, but I like it. It kind of makes the new sense. Tagline. That's the new tagline. Um, I think we should give away a hat or a sweatshirt or something. You want to give away a hat? You tell me what you want to do, bro. I like that. I like, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. You know what? Let's do that. We have some really cool uh, custom Jan hats that we made a little bit ago. We still have some. Um, so let's give one away. You know, why don't you guys... Uh, here we go. We'll, we'll, we'll do something fun. How about everybody comment, or anyone that wants a hat, comment in the chat. Uh, tell me where... I'm trying to remember if I even know the answer to this question. Well, we should do like a contest, like uh, come up with the rename a Christmas Carol with an IndyCar driver's name. I love that. Most cre most creative one wins. I love that. Yeah, so that that's the challenge. What Brian just said. <laughs> Be creative. <laughs> Be creative. This is a test. This is a test. Maybe we'll sponsor you. Disclaimer: We won't sponsor you, but we'll send you. <laughs> All right, I need to. I, I need to cut a lap. Here, you do that, and I'll monitor the chat. Yeah.
think people are drifting this thing. I think that's actually what's happening. Uh, I think it's the only way you could get seven seconds around here. some good ones in the chat here. Is there? I'm going to try and finish this lap and then I'm going to... Oh, I overdrifted. Ah! Are you trying to drift it? I was. I was I was definitely drifting it. Well, not like super well, but I, I'm sideways as much as I can be. Definitely, okay, now I'm just hamming it up too much. I think I tried to get too, too much. Get a little too cute with it. I'm getting way too cute, like British cute. <laughs> so cute, so cute. So cute. Oh my gosh. I thought I did an excellent job through the whole lap. And I think I'm only like two tenths quicker. <laughs> you gotta be joking me. No. I mean, I'm gonna be like, a 48 is gonna be fast for me. Oh, you can't, you can't take the pit exit. That's not. They won't allow that. Yeah, that's gotten me a bunch. Dude, I there is no way I'm I could get I could sweat on this thing for like two hours, and I think maybe I'll do <laughs> maybe I'll do a 47, which would still be like four and a half seconds off the pace. You got to be joking me! Oh my gosh! All right, well, let's see some of these. What's your lap time? It's a four, I don't know, 49, 49, eight or something. I think I've got a 48 in me. What What have you run? 49, six. I'm just making sure I'm still faster than you. That's really all I care about. Oh my gosh. All right. You can, okay. You can monitor the dang chat. All right. You also got a head start in this. Just FYI for everybody watching. Yeah, it's funny, like, just hammering this thing. I, I've, tr I've tried both approaches, and it's not really working. There's probably somebody out there that's like, he's terrible. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's probably the guy who ran the 42. Probably. Good for you, 42. It is so tempting at the end, you're right. 49-1. Yeah, you would.
<laughs> Man, there's a lot of really good ones in here. Hmm. I'm on a, I'm on a, maybe I'm not, but I feel like I'm on a heater. <laughs> this is going to be hard to pick, I think. Oh, it's the last corner. I don't think I had enough though, so that's why I like went balls of the wall. <laughs> no. Forgot we got some people over on Twitch watching too, so. Hey Twitch. Yeah. Give me some some questions from over there too. <laughs> I just, you, you can hear yourself there. I just heard myself <laughs> yell. Oh my gosh, I cannot get this last corner right. Would have been a 48-2 if I if I would have gotten the last corner right. So just so you know, just so you know, Brian. Well, you know, those optimal laps are fun to talk about. Don't. Aren't they? <laughs> I, knew, I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that. That's so you. <laughs> uh, we are on the fours of Twitch, Brandon. Just just for tonight. promo that we're giving away a hat are there uh, are you checking the checking the comment section over there as well yeah they no yeah there's nothing over there though oh well they're not getting a hat or is there is there i don't know i haven't used twitch so is there a comment section available over there? there must be right isn't there yeah it's the same deal it's like it's like a um no it's just like youtube for rewinding over there. Oh, it, I already buffed the lap. It wasn't like, come on. <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. Oh, Brian. About fencing it. 48-4. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> it wasn't even a good lap. So just think on that. Just think on that. <laughs> yeah. Let that marinate for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Put that in the fridge. <laughs> I am, I'm about to go back-to-back -back heaters. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it. I'm going to get out here. I'm going to be your lap time on the first time by. Yeah, okay, okay. With the standing start. <laughs> With the, yeah.
be honest, I've had some had some decent drifts going here. No! <laughs> right as I speak. Uh Alright, I want to see some of these. There's a lot, I feel like. <laughs> it's for real. We're going to give away a hat. It's a cool hat. It's a custom hat. Super nice hat. It's, uh, it's very nicely made by New Era. Mary Joseph. That's not good. <laughs> Rossi got run over by a reindeer. I like that. We will power you a Christmas? That's good. <laughs> Colton Herdas is coming to down. 12 days of Hinchmas. Uh -huh. I saw mommy kissing Santa Kanan. That's awesome. That one got me pretty good, too. That's so good. You're a mean one, Mr. Hinch. That, oh God, I love that. That's a good one. That's that's a, that's a front runner. I see. Can um, on the red nose reindeer. It's not bad. Racing around the Chris mystery. Bell Rock. The song names. Dicks the Halls. <laughs> All right. There's a there's a couple good ones in here. There's definitely some that aren't as good. Uh, sorry, no offense. <laughs> you better be good. You better be nice because Pensy is coming to town. Well, I don't know if that rhymed really well, but it's true. <laughs> Makes sense. He's always watching. Makes sense what you said there. He's checking his list. Oh, he's checking it twice. You better be You better be sure that you're not naughty and that you're nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm entering the contest myself. Twist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my own prize. <laughs> you know, I liked mine. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did great. Alright, let's see if I can get another lap here. What time is it? Do you know? I don't know. I'm in the middle of a lap and I'm trying not to screw it up. Okay, sorry, sorry. That's right, you do have to catch up now. Uh oh. Ah. I don't like starting on 645, 642. No! Oh my gosh, people are going to make fun of me. Keep messing this last corner up. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This is going to be so embarrassing. Just literally did this third time in a row. Alright, there we go. We got it. This thing definitely requires a high level of finesse. Uh, and I would say if you're drifting it, that's the same case. Like, it's still a... I don't even know how I can't do that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. I'm getting braver and braver in that last corner. Yeah. Are you dabbing the brakes? I'm, like, dragging it, but not even lifting off the throttle, really. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That is a, that's a tactic. And I'm taking all, all the inside curve I can. Like almost hitting the wall. It, it lets you, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, some, some places you can actually get away with a lot of grass. Yeah, that section at the top of the hill, you can cut some of that there. Yeah, I was surprised by that. I think you got to play the cambers here, too. That was that was an unfortunate drift. All right, I just need one more. Oh, I don't like that. See, I think if I spent a bunch of time in this, I'd want to map exactly where I can cut or not cut. I'm not going to get into that, but. <laughs> oh, I hate this. <laughs> like second to last corner, I'm up a bunch, and then I just stuff it. That's a shame. like going for too much uh, not perfection but I'm just trying to get it too right Keep messing it up now down. I love the little words of encouragement that Forza gives you when you do well. Like, perfect oh. turn. It's the best, right? Dude, I like I like can't get turn two right now. I like messed that up three times in a row. <sighs> what a shame. What a sad story. I'm getting so close to a 48. It's sad that you can't get that done. It's, <laughs> it's embarrassing for both of us.
Well, should we pick our winner here? I'm gonna try one more lap and then definitely we should. Oh, if I can start the lap correctly. But yeah, definitely. Let me, let me I'm gonna try and get one. Well. Ah, uh, walled it. I think I got a I, I got a forty seven in it, but it's just gonna it's gonna take time. Uh, should try Maple Valley the the Renault F one card. That actually sounds fantastic. Shaggy, uh, is this the hardest handling car you've ever driven in the game? I no, not at all. It's actually a really nice handling car, to be quite honest. Um, I mean it's not that nimble it's not that light but balance wise for what it is it's not bad at all <laughs> Aaron how's the boat handling yeah as, as you would guess all right so should we should we choose one here yeah oh okay Shaggy's saying you can turn on track limits so they only show when you get close may help you figure out where you can and get from. I never run that. Have you ever run that? I didn't know that was a thing. I, I was just reading that myself. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that either. I'll try that. Power oversteer it into turn. I agree with that. That seems like what you need to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back here. Chevy will be home for Christmas. Okay, there's two that I think I really like. I really like You're a Mean One, Mr. Hinch. And then, where's. And then I, I also really like I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Canaan. Those are good ones. Yeah, I think those are probably my top two. There's one other that was really good. Wasn't there one with power, like willpower in it? Uh, so, yeah. I don't know where it went. Oh, uh, was or was it the Rossi got run over by a reindeer? Yeah, that, that it wasn't that one. I think I honestly I I think I'm gonna go with the. Where is it? I want to get back to it. Make sure I get it. Where? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the I saw mommy kissing Santa Canon. I, I I just that's funny to me. <laughs> so Christopher Christopher Fambro, is it is this Fambro? Dude, is it if this is Fambro, this is like this is Chris from my race team. Chris, if this is you well, well, then we gotta pick a new winner. <laughs> I know, I gotta pick someone new. Chris, I'll get you a hat, Chris. I'm almost positive that's Chris. It has to be. I don't know anyone else named that. It's got to be. So do you want to go with... Uh... Of course. I, I was. I didn't even look at the last name. I just saw it say Christopher, and then I saw <laughs> Fambro. I was like, oh, Fambro. Um, then let's go back to... Chris, I'll get you a hat. But also... And I think it's him because he said, am I even allowed in the chat? Oh, is he? <laughs> Well, it said, am I even allowed to win the prize? Yeah. Oh, no. I didn't look. Chris, what are you doing? You're just, I'm sorry. You're just, you're just chilling. Watching my, watching my, uh, hot lapping. Where's this other one? I've already lost it. I think I went back too far. All right. Here we go. Uh, Shaggy SoCal. 
Is he the he one that did the, the hinge one? Yeah. Okay. He's your your bounty hunter challenge guy, right? Yeah, he is. I want to find it again on here, though. Hmm. Yeah, it is Shaggy. You're a mean one, Mr. Hinch. All right, well, Shaggy, you're the winner. I, cause I, I think that's hilarious. He's always on here. Shaggy is always yeah. on these chats. That's good. So Shaggy, um, DM your address to us on Instagram, and we'll um, get this shipped over to you. Yeah, send it. Send it to my IG, and then we'll get you sorted out. And if you don't have Instagram, just message on facebook and we'll we'll get it figured out yeah or you can probably you could probably dm i think he's on uh i think he's on twitter he can he can uh, dm on twitter too can he you just send us a message uh yeah yeah dm us on one of the million platforms yeah i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> we will get it somewhere or another uh brandon would i race in formula one with haas hmm hmm feel like I don't want to say anything definite on a stream. That's the avocado company, right? Yeah, yes. Great. Yeah, big avocado guy. Great so. avocados. I love avocados. Uh, I mean, who wouldn't want to race an F1 with avocados? Especially Haas avocados. I love them. Big avocado guy. You know what? A lot of people don't know this, but F1 engines are run on avocado oil. <laughs> yep, pressed from the pits. Straight from the pit. I actually, you know what? I wonder how that would do, like in a gearbox or something. I imagine it would not do very well. I don't think it has a very high uh, heat point. Yeah, I don't think it would. I think I'll stick to uh, Pennzoil. That's what you need, folks. You need some good old-fashioned Pennzoil. Tried, tested, true. It's in our IndyCar box. It's what makes it go fast. So if you have a car <laughs> and you need some oil for your gearbox, get some Pennzoil. And some T Firestone tires while you're at it. And, and some Firestone tires, you know? Let's not stop there. Let's make it well-rounded, you know? Because what's the thing touching the ground? Really, the only thing touching the ground in your car are your tires. <laughs> and make sure it's a Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're at it, why don't you just look up the bow tie brand, okay? Tried and true, ready for you. It's Chevrolet. Down the street, around that's, the corner. That's their new <laughs> tried and true, ready for you. It's Chevrolet. <laughs> uh, I was, I was trying to, I was trying to go with that. That was good. That was, I mean, you know, I'm gonna send that. We should send that up that's, to, up to old Detroit. Be like, hey guys, we got you covered. <laughs> we need to start making some new videos, okay? <laughs> well, <laughs> we are getting bored. We need to <laughs> exercise this muscle a little bit here. We just, you know, we used to do such cool stuff back in the day when we didn't have responsibilities, I feel like. I mean, we had responsibilities. You had a lot of responsibilities. I did, but... Yeah, we just were... There was a lot of freedom. We had a little more latitude than we do now. <laughs> more latitude, that's true. Yeah. Oh, boys and girls, what can I say? It's been an hour of fun. That's how I'd classify it. Thank non -stop you. Non-stop action. Non-stop action. Thank you guys for getting on. Um, sorry that my lap wasn't better. I think I'm probably a second off my optimal. Seems like uh, Brian's about maxed out. Looks about right to me. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we'll probably stop there. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lord. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to stop because I don't want to be late for dinner. My wife cooks me uh, on occasion. On occasion, she cooks. Um, she doesn't always cook dinner. I mean, t to be honest, she most of the time she cooks dinner. I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't know why that sounds terrible to me. She loves cooking. It's one of the ways she shows love. So I'm the beneficiary of that. And uh, I'm going to be late if I don't get off. <laughs> this is uh this is a good reason for you to leave. Yeah, so I have to leave. <laughs> that's that's why I'm going to go. I hope everyone, if I don't see you before Christmas, have a great Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, have a great holiday. Whatever you're celebrating, have a great time, family and friends. Um, and take care. We will we will definitely update. I'm going to be back on this. This was just, I think, only the first round. Yeah, it's only the first round of the Game Pass Challenge. There are more challenges that are coming up, uh, so I'll try and cut some laps. 
Uh, they're giving away super cool prizes. Make sure you're staying up to date. I think you need to follow Forza RC. Uh, at Forza RC is where you're going to get all the information for these challenges. They're giving away tons of cars, um, different suits, all sorts of things. So if you guys are like on the game um, consistently and you're looking for all that, you know, neat stuff that you just can't get, um, Forza's trying to hook it up. So uh, do your best in these challenges, and I'll be around for the next ones. Brian, uh, anything from your end? No, sir. Um we're all good. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for all the latest updates on what Joseph's doing. Do that. Do that. Do that and more. I don't know what the more would be, but do that and more. We like more. We like. You know what's good? <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> Remember, guys, to socially innovate, okay? Because really, people are people. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that means. That's good. I like it, though. That's that's your sign-off line from now on. People are people. <laughs> people are people. Have a good night. <laughs> Don't forget that. All right. For real. We're going to leave this time. I'm going to leave. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to cut the mics. And uh, we, we may, uh, we're coming back. We're going to come back. I was going to say I was never going to come back, but that's a lie. So we'll come back. Okay, bye.